Now here we are, starting at the top, it goes from scenario, vehicle, navigation, world, options, views, etc. Now, the important ones are going to be vehicle and world. So let's have a look at what vehicle has. We can select the instrument panel, kneeboard, fuel and payload. That, of course, is important. This is where we fuel the aeroplane. So we'll click on that and it brings up this. Now, our, we make changes here. We're going to fill up. So we've got 100% in both the left and the right tank. That's all we need to do is to ensure that we have sufficient fuel. And click OK. In the navigation one, this is where we can actually change the airport. So we can change the airport by simply go to airport. Here we are. And we can uh, filter by country. It might make it easier. So we'll go all the way down here to... Uh, United Kingdom and here are all of the ones that all the airports in the United Kingdom so let's say we wanted to go to we want to go to Norwich that's EGSH Echo Golf Sierra Hotel click on that then we'll select the starting location and we'll make it uh, parking general aviation parking 20 how's that clicking OK we'll then change our location from Exeter and we're now going to be parked in Norwich Still the same weather because we haven't changed that. Here we are. And once again, we're going to need to right click in the center, left click on cockpit, go down and left click on Cessna 172 in order that our screens will fill appropriately. And this is where we are. Here's a little tip. We can have a look now from a different perspective by right clicking on the screen, left clicking on outside, we can go to what we call locked spot. This shows us our aeroplane right here. This is us. We can also have a look at it looking top down. This is often useful for being able to locate yourself on an airfield. So outside again and top down this time. And here we are. It says this is where we're located. And we can zoom out. So you can see where we actually are in relationship to taxiways and also to the main runway at Norwich. Right click, left click on cockpit, left click on Cessna 172, brings it back to the, the state that we want it.
Now the next one that we want to have a look at is the one that says world. And in world we've got time and season and weather. So if you click on time and season, it brings up this little screen. So we can select not winter, but summer. We can select an hour, which is different from the one that we're at. But we're going to stay with winter just for this particular demonstration. Another thing in world is weather. Here we can change the weather from, uh, from cold fronts to building storms. Get a little bit of a preview there. Fair weather, all the rest of it. Here's Orbix weather, which is a cl thicker cloud coverage, but cooler, colder air to create greater visibility up to 80,000. Why not? We have Orbix in this, so let's uh, go ahead and, and select Orbix weather for, just, just for fun. Click OK. And now we're going to have to make sure Cessna 172 is loaded in again. And we're ready to go wherever we need. Now I'm going to go back to the airport to Exeter. There we are. And we're going to go to parking 22 and off we go. It takes a short while to get all the parts loaded in, but once it's loaded in, there you are. And let's have a look from the top down point and see where we are. Well, according to that, we're right here. We're on one of these offshoots. But we might not want to be there. We might want to be in a different location. All we need to do is to change our parking place. Now I went into scenario here, which is the default, and that's the one that uh, has us at parking 15. And once again, we need to choose Cessna 172 in order to bring it back into perspective. So that's just a brief exploration of what some of these are at the top. I know some of you are going to want to do a lot of experimenting and you'll click like crazy. The only thing you have to remember is that once you do that, you have to remember how you got there so that you can get back if you don't want the desired result. Okay. Right. That brings us to the end of this little video. It's all been about how to adjust the options. The next video will be on controls of the aircraft and starting procedures.